Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 94 of our epic journey across Europe where we are aiming to win the top flight tier in every European nation that they're in the game. Now we're back here in Romania with FC Voluntari and after the end of the last episode, if you watched that one, I'm pretty sure you can imagine why we're back here again today and that is to potentially see us lift the title. We've had a fantastic season here in Romania, partly due to the thanks that Siof, our Cluj have had a shocking season. Now you were here opening day of the Superliga Champions Playoff where we took on Dinamo Bucharest and won 3-0. We did then draw with second place Sepsi, a 0-0 draw in this one. We didn't hit the target once, they did five times. Ultimately it was a very, very close game uh, and they arguably could have won but 0-0 uh, I think is pretty much a fair Reflection, we then took on the outgoing champions in CFR Cluj, a 2-1 win in this one. We did go behind early on through Kailani, uh, but Sabo with a penalty and then Anastasi in the second half bagged the winner for us in a slow start for us, but we finished the game the much stronger side. So 2-1 in that one. FCSB, the second best team in the country according to the media, we're next up. Uh, and we went to their place and we thumped them 4-0. Kamal Husic, the young Serbian centre-half with a, a header of a hat-trick of headers. Two from corners, one from a free kick uh, in another very, very good performance. Danut Tofan did add another one in the second half. Uh, and then in the league, it's been Dinamo Bucharesti again, a 3-0 win this time. Tofan and Prada on the score sheet uh, in another dominant performance. We've then took on the cup semi-final. Uh, first leg against Erostar Pakao, who are actually a third-tier side. They've made it to the semi-final of the Cup as a third-tier side. And it was uh, it was 6-0 before half-time. It was a very, very dominant performance. So we're expecting to be in the Cup final as well. But today we can win the league against Craiova, providing results go our way elsewhere. Other than that, if I think if we take on Sepsi, we can win that as well. But we're 12 points clear with five games remaining. So if we pick up a point today and Sepsi lose, uh, then we are crowned the champions. So that's where we're at, guys. So let's get into it without any further ado. Sepsi are taking on CFR Clues, the outgoing champions, who have actually managed to get themselves up into third place, by the way, from being in sixth. Dinamo Bucharesti have had a, a shocking champions playoff so far. They've gone from third all the way down to sixth, and they're quite some distance off third with a minus nine goal difference. Uh, so Cluj, Cluj are on the ascendancy, Dinamo, Bucharest are on the descendancy, if that's a word. Uh, but uh, we're hoping to pick up the title today and we need Cluj to do us a favour if we're hoping to do so. So starting lineup for today is going to be Burhan Akdag in goal, the young Turkish goalkeeper who we've signed, uh, who's had a fantastic season for us. 20 clean sheets across 34 appearances now is great. Gerbeninu, or Gerbenaunu, I, I don't know how to pronounce it still. Uh, at right wing-back, Husic and Ioni, the two centre-halves with Mendy at left-back uh, for today. Barrero, who's had a little bit of an injury recently, uh, comes back into the squad. Again, another player who I've been very pleased with. Apatre, our young 18-year-old defensive midfielder. He's developing unbelievably well. He's playing really, really well. His personality does let him down, though, but he's still considered a promising midfielder, which you know is, is, is the next one down from our wonder kid, really. Uh, Tinchu, again... Uh, comes in. He's still listed as an attacking midfielder by the media. I suppose that's his natural position, but he does play as a, a Segundo Volante for us, and he's very, very good at that position as well. Is the 25 year old uh, Romanian. Tofan on the right hand side, partly due to injuries. Uh, we've got a couple of injuries at the minute. Anastosi's out on the left hand side. Uh, we do still have, uh, when I find him, no, he's injured as well. Anastasi's injured. Uh, and Atanasoi is injured. So both of our starting wingers are injured, which is why Prada is on the left-hand side today, lacking a little bit of match sharpness. He's not really good enough for this level either, uh, but he's done okay for us. He's on a 6.99 with three goals and three assists in the seven appearances that he's made for us. And then Kostash, who continues to pretty much score a goal a game in the league, uh, continues up front. So that's where we're at, guys. We're We're potentially a point away from being the champions of Romania and making it back to back to back league titles in three different nations, which would be an unbelievable feat for, for any manager. Uh, but we have got to the point in our careers now where, where our reputation precedes us and we can walk into to pretty good teams. So we've got a, a good foundation to start from 
It's not like the early days where we've had to take a, a second tier side mm. and build them up to become champions. Um, we're on the attack early on here. It's going to be Tinchu to take the corner from that left-hand side. It's an in-swinger towards Husic, who nearly got his head on it again, but it's headed clear by Sumar. Uh, but Kostash picks the ball up, driving back in towards penalty area, past his man, effort on goal, and he's put it away. Dragos Kostash with his 20th goal of the season with a fantastic individual goal there, driving past his man. It's a great finish into the far corner, past the goalkeeper. I am a little bit concerned that we're in the the third minute of the game and Mendy is already on a yellow card. Uh, that's a little bit concerning. Uh, but great finish by Kostash and I do believe that's going to put us 14 points clear with 12 remaining. Uh, so as things stand, we're, we're the champions basically. Um, which would be great, you know. We'll have wrapped it up quite early on. Uh, Dinamo Bucharesti take the lead against FCSB. Uh, but Mendy with the long throw. It's headed clear by Sumar. But Husic is going to get there. Finds Barrero. Ap back to Aptrey who makes it 2-0. Robert Aptrey with his first goal for the club. It's a great finish as well by the young man uh, from the edge of the area. A fantastic finish and a nice little build up to it. And as things stand, we are, we're we just in cruise control. We're we are cruising towards this title. Great finish though from the young man. Uh, goalkeeper didn't really stand a chance uh, and as Shepsi is still nil-nil with Cluj that continues to leave us that 14 points clear at the top in, in what I have to say has been an absolutely brilliant season far better than I expected anyway I was expecting to, to at least be two years here not the first season but we've, we've played fantastically well and Husic has been central to that in defence as well but Gubinino brings the ball forward, finds Tofan on the right-hand side. He's given the ball away, though, but he's done really, really well to get it back. Finds a Barrero, now Husic. Apatre, Tofan, Gubinino. I do realise as well that I, I change how I pronounce Husic. Uh, I sometimes say Husic, I sometimes say Husic. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. As Tinchu goes close with uh, with an effort there, it's a good save by the goalkeeper, though, uh, looking to make it 3-0. But Tinchu is going to come out here to this right hand side to take this outswinging corner towards Husik at that near post but it's headed clear and it was a chance for Krivoya Krayova to, to break there but again it is a voluntary coming forward Barrero Apatre finds Kostash tries to find Tofan but it's cut out uh, but Gubineno does win it back now a trade does feed Tofan this is an opportunity for three can't finish but Kostash can with a, a lucky deflection back into his path there so that's the second of the game for Kostash. And just after half an hour, we're 3-0 up just like that. Just like that. And like I say, we are cruising to this title. We've got a 13 goal difference in the six games that we've played so far in this Champions Playoff, which the only other positive team are, are Cluj. And they're on three. Tells you how good we've been this season. And at half time, it is 3-0 to Voluntari. Tofan has actually picked up an injury, I've just noticed there. Uh, we're going to bring him off. We don't. We're comfortable. We're comfortable. We're going to get Padraru on. Danut Padraru is another one of the young players at this club. Seventeen-year-old with massive potential, reasonable left foot as well. So can play on this right-hand side, and he's already, according to this, operating at a Super League level. So he's going to get his opportunity. He's not had too many of them this season so far. Let's see what the young man can do. Looking to make it four now. Tinchu with the deep free kick. It's headed clear though. Uh, Padraru is going to get there. No, he's not. Toma beats him to the ball. Toma all by himself though. Forced to come back and find a Marea who takes it past his man. Getting to it, gets a good cross in, and it's it's towards Lecker in the middle. Decent effort. Burhan didn't move at all. I don't know whether that was he was comfortable that it was going wide or he just wasn't going to get there. But that's a wasteful ball forward and. Matashi comes out with a ball. Now Popper, who pretty much gives it back because we're always going to win them. Tinchu looking to the left-hand side and Preda. Preda gets the ball towards Kostash for his hat-trick. Going to get the VAR check though. I don't know if Preda was offside. I don't think Kostash was. He was behind the ball when it was played into him. But I, I've got the feeling that Preda was offside. No, he wasn't. We've had the VAR check. We've just not had the confirmation of it. I think the left-back's playing, playing us all on there. And it's a good ball in by Preda. Good header by Kostashi for his hat-trick. And still, the highlights come thick and fast. We're looking to really 
hammer the nail into the coffin here of Craiova as Prada wins that one back, finds a Tinchu back to Prada, a little bit behind him though, had to check his run, finds Tinchu again inside to Barrera, uh, Barrero even, who gives the ball away to Tomer, it's a poor pass by the Colombian and now Cornea into the penalty area, looking to get one back, it's a shocking effort though, shocking effort by the Craiova man as Cosmin Tinchu has picked up a yellow card there. Uh, and as things stand, guys, 10 minutes away from, I think, being the champions. I don't think we'll be able to be caught after this with four games remaining, 14 points clear. We're going to get one last highlight, though, just to keep us in suspense a little bit further. And uh, Husik goes close with a header there. It's come back out to Prada. Kostash with a wasteful effort this time. It's gone over the bar. But that is the full-time whistle. And we are the champions. FC Voluntari are the Romanian Superliga champions. At our first attempt, it's the club's first ever Superliga title. And like I say, it's been an absolutely fantastic season. We've been helped massively by the fact that CFR Cluj have had a, a poor season. And as we get ready to lift the trophy aloft, there we go. The first ever Superliga title for FC Voluntari. I've, I've lost my cursor again, guys. I always There it is. I always lose it in the the confetti that happens it's uh, it's quite difficult to see what a great season guys what an absolutely fantastic season i i couldn't be happier it's been it's been thoroughly thoroughly deserved and confirmation then that fc a voluntary win the super league it's the first one in the club's history i believe i'm pretty sure it is uh, we'll find out if we go into club info yeah it's the first one we've never won one we are still in the romanian cup as well so there's a potential to add a second one in the history of the club to that. Although, looking at that, with Arj winning in the, the, the other semi-final, we're yet to beat Arj, believe it or not. They're in the relegation group, but we're yet to beat them. Uh, but we're the champions. We are the champions of Romania in, in what has been an absolutely fantastic season. Like I say, it's been thoroughly, thoroughly a dominant Romanian First League champions. We've added to our tally. We've reached the end of nation number 11 uh, and as a result we now get to tick Romania off the list Romania is complete we're on to Bulgaria so we're still in sort of the eastern block of uh, Europe before we head back to Scandinavia and Sweden and then we come back over this way to Israel and Turkey now Turkey has got some fantastic wonder kids in this game the next gen consistently comes up with young men from Turkey being in the sort of top 10 of that uh, but yeah, guys, really, really great that we've uh, we've again beaten a nation. Eleven off the list. We're officially a third of the way through our quest, which is fantastic. I'm going to finish off the season here in Romania, uh, and then we're going to start looking at jobs in Bulgaria. As for how Bulgaria currently sits, I believe it's Aludegrets who are the you know the 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 big team in. Bulgaria, there's also CSKA Sofia, Levski have got a few in there as well, but just Ludogorets are, are pretty much, they've, they've almost had a 20-year period there where they've won every single league and they're still in and around there. Now, Romania does have some, some uh, not Romania, Bulgaria does have some, uh, some funky rules. Again, they've got a championship group, uh, preliminary phase, stuff like that. In fact, how many games are there in Romania? Uh, Bulgaria, I keep saying Romania. 30 in the in the normal one, Champions Group, 35. I don't know. Does that just mean that there's five extra after the... Uh, there's so many phases. Champ so 30 in the regular season, Champions Group, 35 games. Does that just mean that there's five more games? We'll play each one of the other teams once. I think possibly that's that's the case, but we keep all of our points. We'll see. We'll see when we get there because we're going to be there next season, guys. Right. As always, thank you very much for watching. We're at the end of the episode. We're, we're approaching 100 episodes, and we've just finished a third of a third of the quest to do this now thankfully in the last three seasons things have sped up a bit we've we've knocked three off in quick succession back to back to back hopefully we can have a similar sort of result in bulgaria 
Um, but guys, if you do enjoy what you've seen, please remember to hit that like button for me. And if you want to keep up with any future content, please remember to hit the subscribe button as well and the notification button. Uh, you can see that we're in the process of another board takeover here at Voluntari. Uh, so I'm going to go and finish off the season. I've still got four league games, a cup semi-final and looking at a cup final as well. So I've got six more games to do here. And then we'll start looking at Bulgaria and I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in the next episode when we'll be the manager of a Bulgarian club. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time.